uh, like our figure four and our ratchet. This is not bad and we turned a lot of people, but the minute he slides his outside knee up, I can't turn to my left anymore, okay? So if my ankles are crossed and my knees are wide, slide that left knee up. See how I'm already blocking? Just with that adjustment with my leg ride, I, I give myself both sides to turn to. If I have this figure four, I still might be able to turn him to his left, but I'm gonna have to use a ton of horsepower to get him there. When I just do that, I can still apply the same amount of pressure, okay? Now I can turn to both sides. And the philosophy that I wanna use on top is, I turn him what direction that he's fighting. If he wants to fight to his left, I put him on his back to the left. He wants to fight to his right, I put him on his back to his right, okay? I'm not, I'm not trying to rip the guy's arm off and break his spine. That's a lot of work to do. Sometimes we might have to go get one, but I just wanna, again, we're setting traps, we're tricking, okay? So we're gonna set up a lot. I'm going to my left, he fights down to my right, boop, turn him to the right. I'm fighting, I'm trying to turn him to my right, he fights down to his left, we turn him to his left. Okay, but I want to make sure that we are getting ankles crossed, knees wide, back arched. This is extremely important for us to get today. Okay, if we just get here, that's a good home base to work from. All right, so I'm going to show you one more way to get our leg in, and then we'll start playing around with some technique on top, turning the guy. And again, I can use my legs to set up anything. I can use my leg ride to get wrist control and tilt him with a wrist. All right, just like we used our crab ride to set him up. So now, we're gonna chop him off the whistle, and my goal when I chop him is to turn this guy's body like the hand on a clock, counterclockwise, get his butt off his heel so I can step over and scoop his ankle. So it's gonna end up like an ankle ride. But no, no decent guy anywhere is just gonna let me chop him and drive him forward and scoop his ankle, right? I've gotta work for it. So the first thing I gotta do is put weight on his hands, right? Jam, 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 all right? Then I'm coming over the top. Remember, I told you it's not even really a chop, it's a twist. Twist his elbow. See how my knee's up the butt, <coughs> my foot's in the mat, real easy to start scooping that ankle, okay? Once I have this ankle scooped right here, I'm thinking about taking the foot that's scooping it straight to the ceiling, kind of, kind of like I'm elevating the turk. And I'm just coming under his chin to his far armpit. Everybody see that? Under his chin to the far armpit, not under his armpit to the far armpit. I'm coming under his chin to the far armpit and I'm trying to get my chest out over his far shoulder. A lot of people call this a cradle ride, okay? Which I can hit a lot of cross face cradles and near side cradles from here, but we're gonna get our leg in, okay? All right, I'm gonna put my left leg in just for demonstration sake, but I would, I would obviously do the opposite because I wanna get my right leg in. Okay, so I'm gonna come under the chin to the far armpit. I'm gonna elevate this foot to the ceiling right here. And see how I'm driving off my toe? And I'm driving and I'm driving and I'm driving. Once he hits the hip, leg comes in, ankles are crossed, I'm right into my leg ride. Okay, so all I'm doing is elevating the ankle so I can throw my boot in. All right, face entrance, please. So, if I want to get my right leg in, same thing. Jam, 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 okay. Twist and chop, twist and chop, knee up the butt. Scoop the ankle under the chin to the armpit. Driving off this free toe and I'm arching hard. My hips are attacking his hips. This foot's going to the ceiling. So I'm driving, elevating. See, I'm on this toe right here. Elevating, driving, boom, right there. Boot comes in. If I catch him and can get bottom shoulder, I might go right into a turn from here. I don't want you to go into a turn right now. I want this guy to go to his belly, and I want to make sure that we have ankles crossed, knees wide, and we're controlling this guy's hips, okay? That knee on the side of my legs in has to be floating, all right? If it's on the mat, he's got an opportunity to get this strong position and start beating my legs. Questions? 